Turning now to your community focus, as we've reported here on 12 News at 4, hospitals across the country are dealing with a rise in COVID, flu, and RSV, a so-called triple-demic, and that includes here in Rhode Island. Joining us now to talk about what's going on here in our state is Dr. Michael Koster from Hasbro Children's Hospital. Thanks so much for joining us. It's my pleasure. Thanks for having me. So, Dr. Koster, let's start by sort of painting a picture of what it looks like inside our hospitals right now. You know, we've heard anecdotally from adults that go to the hospital. Maybe they've been waiting for hours or laying on a stretcher in the hallway. Is that what you're seeing inside of the Children's Hospital as well? Well, I think it's important to remember that these infections uh, happen to our patients, but they also happen to our staff. And so that's one of the things that we're really challenged with right now is the amount of people who are getting infections, both COVID, RSV, and um, you know influenza. And so uh, in pediatrics, for sure, we uh, felt the brunt of this a uh, month ago with RSV, and we're continuing in perpetual crisis to uh, manage the number of patients coming in through the doors. Uh, we've made a lot of and pivoted and made a lot of uh, changes to make sure that we can accommodate our patients and meet the needs of our community. Now we have COVID flu, RSV. Is there one illness that you're seeing more than another? Well, I think that's interesting because uh, certainly there's some seasonality to these viruses. Uh, RSV we saw earlier, flu we're seeing now, and COVID we've seen throughout this, but we're also starting to see a rise in COVID. So for the most part, we're seeing all these viruses with uh, ups and downs and waxing and waning and seeing them much earlier than we typically would each season. So I think that's the real driver here is that we're seeing uh, these cases much earlier. You know, we've been telling our viewers, if you can not go to the emergency room and seek care elsewhere, your primary care physician or maybe a walk-in to do that instead to avoid overcrowding. But can you give us some pointers on when people should seek emergency care? What should they look for in their kids? Well, certainly uh, for kids, if they're having difficulty breathing, you know, no one needs to tell a parent if their child's blue. Uh, but if they're having uh, trouble breathing, you take their shirt off and they're, uh, you're seeing them uh, breathe around their ribs and their ribs outlining, uh, those are signs of more severe respiratory distress, uh, grunting and head bobbing. And those would be the reasons to come to the Mercy Department. The good news is there's lots of things in our toolbox to prevent us from needing to come to the Mercy Department. So that includes vaccines and COVID boosters, influenza vaccine, and using masks when necessary in large crowded areas and uh, doing a better job with our ventilation. I'd say my, you know, in my family, they always wonder why I'm leaving the fan on in the restroom uh, for blowing the air out, but it's also really helpful for ventilation and you can't underestimate how important that is in large gatherings and in our homes this season for the holidays to keep good ventilation, and keep that fan on for your HVAC. So things to watch out for and things to help prevent needing to come to the Mercy Department. And you mentioned the holidays. Do you have any other messages for parents or families during this time of year? Yeah, definitely um, being careful around the, uh, the loved ones who are you know, compromised or uh, have chronic illnesses. I think that's the time where you want to pull out something like a mask to keep people protected and uh, use a HEPA filter when everyone has their mask off and eating and drinking this time of year. So, um, but be safe and keep those social circles small, and that's gonna really help to minimize uh, spread of illness. Lots of good tips there. I hadn't heard of the bathroom fan <laughs> one. That's a good one to keep in our back pocket. Do Dr. Michael Koster from Hasbro Children's Hospital, thanks so much.